Hi friends, this is Kippy from KippyAtHome.com. Thank you for joining me. Welcome to my home. Welcome to my channel. Tonight we're going to be crafting up some really cute little planters. The kids are going to love it. You're going to enjoy it. And I'm just using items from my recycle bin and also items I already had about the home. So we're not buying anything. We're not going out shopping. We're enjoying our staycation and we're crafting up a storm. I appreciate y'all stopping by so you don't miss anything because we've got a lot planned, more planned. So I'd love for you to, to subscribe and ring the bell and also make sure you go to the playlist because I've, I have joined up with some other amazing YouTubers who are also going to inspire you to craft up the most beautiful porch out of recycle items so here we go i wanted to make sure before we pop over to start crafting that you know that the beautiful reef that's hanging there i made and it was super simple and i made a little um I have a little video about it and I also have a post and I'll put a link below so y'all can craft up one of those too. All right and those little cute little rocks on there my daughter did and she's going to be showing y'all some cute little rocks too so you don't want to miss that. All right let's get started. All right now we're getting started here. I just have all I gathered up my supplies. I have my cans and my jars and these are just right out of my recycle. I took the label off the jar and washed it. And this is actually a little yogurt container that I practiced some paint on. And there's nothing wrong with it. And these are some labels I already had that I'll have to cut down. But I wanted to make little labels so we can watch. And won't that be fun to see those little seeds coming up? So I purchased the um, seeds from... Oh, from the Dollar Tree and the twine as well as those clothespins. I didn't purchase anything new. I had these items on hand. I'm always a little overstocked for crafting and I'm certainly glad of that since I'm having an extended staycation. So we'll start out with our little jar here and I did have to, it was a little bit of an effort to get that gummy business off there but I used some of that um, Goo Gone to get rid of that and I can put the link to that below all right so I'm just gonna measure my little burlap on here and this is like a, a cinch to do so I'm just gonna kind of measure it on there eyeballing as you saw no real measuring and then I just hit it with my glue gun and then I put a little bit more glue and fold the little edges over so I don't have a raw edge it really doesn't even necessarily need that so you can just do that and once that's done I wanted to add some twine around the top and I also needed it to be long enough that I could put my little tag on there so I can say what's in it I just wanted to say thank you again for joining joining us tonight as we craft along a cute little upcycle herb garden and also some carrots and I wanted to ask you um, if you if you would um, please subscribe to the channel and give us a thumbs up and subscribe ring the bell and we hope to see you soon my little yogurt container that has been upcycled now twice is getting a little makeover with these cute little clothespins that I'm having a little bit of a time to get them apart. I got my son to help me. Thank you. And I was trying to decide which way they should go. And I decided to put the ridges out and because I can run my cord through the ridges. So after I hot glue these on there, I am going to kind of stain them. And my friend Michelle showed me, uh, y'all probably might already know this, but it's a take paint instead of buying stain and I can just use water-based paint and just dilute it and kind of wish it around with some water and use a little sponge, apply it, and then just wipe it off with a paper towel and you kind of get a, a rustic look with kind of a stain look together. So that is what I did. Now I'm going to use my crushed pineapple can and you will love the recipe that I made with this and it is a pineapple upside down cake and you're I use a yellow cake mix and you're gonna love it I will can put you uh, the link to that recipe below your family will really enjoy that so definitely make make that and then you'll have this fantastic can to use 
Okay, this great product is this moss that is in a sheet that also has a backing that is sticky. So what I'm trying to determine is how this thing is really going to fit on here. And it's, um, once I get that little can roll in there, I'm going to use my little Sharpie and mark it and just cut it. And then I'm going to slowly remove the backing as I go around. I want the cut edge towards the bottom so it makes a clean edge so it'll stand up. It only took a few minutes and turned out great. You're going to enjoy that part. Once I got it finished, I decided I would go ahead and put my twine around it and that's the one I'm going to use to put my little tag on there to say what my little um, seeds are that are growing in there. The clothespins were not staying on this glass as well as I thought they would so I had to go around the top and the bottom with a thick bead of hot glue and then I put these rubber bands in there to hold it on there so it's on there pretty good but I didn't really like how that hot <laughs> that hot glue looked on the top so at the end I ended up adding a piece of twine around the edge and you can see it um, at the final part so you can see on there that turned out to be a wee bit unsightly so I, but I went ahead and covered it up this twine however is going in that groove which is perfect for this and this is where I'm gonna put my little um, seed tag on there the kids are gonna love this watching these things grow they'll come check them every day it's really fun to watch these seeds grow now for the fun part I'm gonna remove the tags because I'm taking these outside to put some potting soil in them however and before I put the potting soil in I'm gonna put a few rocks so you have a little bit of drainage you don't want those seeds to rot in there or you know to get moldy so i'm putting my little carrots in the big one and i'm hoping that they will grow that you can see them through the glass i'm mean, just really hoping that's how it'll work out since they are a root vegetable now it's time to plant the seeds and you need to read the back to make sure of how deep they want you to plant that so you can see how I put the little rocks in the bottom and if you have some like really cute rocks that might add a little something fun to it but I just had gravel like driveway gravel that I used so I'm gonna plant these at the depth that they say and I, I don't know how true this is but it's like I think the smaller the seed the more shallow you plant it but I'm not gonna I'm gonna start these inside so until they start to germinate all right, now it's time to add those tags. I just wanted to put the herbs on top so I didn't accidentally put the tags on the wrong ones. Not to say that I haven't done things like that before because I surely have. So this one, I'm gonna go ahead and start with that one since it's having the hardest time staying. But this is a way the kids can actually read, um, learn how to spell, and you might not wanna put them in all caps, but for our sake, my kids know how to read, so um, I went ahead with it, I like the look of it. So write it in so kids can read it and they can learn what how to spell those words and what they are and you know how they use them and they can even make a little recipe or herb bread with the herbs or you could use them in cooking the carrots it would be really a great opportunity to teach as well as to enjoy yourself oh that was a lot of fun guys so I'm just gonna sprinkle some water on these cute little uh, cute little containers of my seeds and get ready for a little garden and y'all can check back and I will show you how they look maybe in a few days um, also I'm going to be working on some uh, gardening boxes or raised gardens and I want to do some more herbs because you know everybody likes a mojito in the summer so I want to be ready and be prepared for um, the summer as well as um, we're going to have some vegetables in that too so I'll be put doing a post on that on my blog so make sure you check that out and some of the items that I've used anything that um, supplies that you might be able to find I'll have a supply list below and don't forget to jump on over to that playlist and check them all out and give all my ladies a thumbs up and we will see you soon thank you so much for stopping by y'all have a safe and healthy spring and summer